Hi everyone, it's Gemma. I've got a mango haul for you today. Mango's fast becoming one of my favourite stores. It's right up there with Zara. I'm really loving what they've got at the moment. And you better tell that from this haul because there's quite a lot there. So you may want to make yourself comfortable. I'm not going to talk for very long because I've got a lot to show you. I'm also going to put the clothes on so you get to see what they look like. So let's get started on the first piece. So the first piece I wanted to show you was this jumper. It's a really lovely, cosy jumper. If you're looking for a winter warmer, for some knitwear for the winter, then this is really lovely. It's, uh, oh, there's no prices on there. I can't remember what it was, um, but I'll link it below for you. But it's a really great color and it does feel really, really soft and it's lovely on as well. Now I've tried this with some green kind of combat style jeans and I think it works really nicely as a colour combination. I love the cream tones with the green, it looks really autumnal and I've stuck it with this green little bag. This little bag comes from Primark and with some heels as well but you can easily wear this with so many different things. I've also tried it with some blue denim, with the camel coat again. I've added some heels but look great with some winter boots. But it's just a great jumper for the autumn through to the winter, can be dressed up or dressed down and it's a lovely quality as well. So next up is this navy blue blazer, it is navy blue not black, um, but it's a lovely quality, it's fully lined inside but I really fancied something in navy. Now I've just paired this with these trousers which you may have seen before on my channel, these check trousers and these are such a fabulous pair of trousers. Sometimes you just find a great pair of trousers that just fit and these just fit me perfectly. I really love the shape of them. The check is really subtle. It's got the blue line running through it, which is why I wanted to pair it with the navy jacket. And I've just paired it with this little black bag, which also comes from Mango and this white shirt as well. Obviously, this is quite a formal look, but you can easily add this to a pair of denim jeans and you've got a much more casual look. Next up are these trousers and I'm really surprised how much I love these trousers. They are really, really comfortable. Now they may look a bit pinky on camera but they're quite brown actually in tones. Um, but they're really comfortable pair of trousers and they're really flattering as well. I just love the shape of these. The only thing I would say, because they're in that kind of paper bag style, um, that if you've got any kind of tummy they're not that flattering. But the great thing about these trousers is that you can wear them so many different ways. I tried it with a white shirt and with the camel coat. Now I've also tried it with a black blazer which I think looks really nice. But I wanted to show you this. These are actually a pair of trousers. But I just thought the tone of the trousers in the animal print works really, really well with these trousers. So I'm now on the hunt for a blouse or a top in those kind of shades of animal print. So if you do happen to do any online shopping and you see anything, then please do let me know below. So next up are these two belts. You may have seen these before in one of my other videos. The reason why I've got two is because I was really undecided on which one to keep. This one is much thinner, but I really like the buckle on this belt. I'm not sure if you can see that. This one is wider, but I'm not as keen on the buckle. Um, in a perfect world, I would like that width with this buckle. Um, so as it stands at the moment, I've just got to decide which one I want to keep. But as you can see, a leopard print belt works so many different ways. I've tried it with white jeans, I've tried it with black trousers, and I think it's really just down to personal choice. So I've just got to make up my mind whether it should be the thin one or the slightly wider one. So next up is this check blazer. I've got check trousers, um, but I really fancied a check blazer, and I found this one. But I've just paired this with some jeans to keep it casual, and added this little black bag with it. And I just think it's a really lovely blazer. It's fully lined and it's really thick and it feels really good quality as well. So I've shown you briefly this camel coat, but I wanted to show it to you in a little bit more detail. It's a really, really lovely coat. Um, it's thick, it's cosy and it's really warm. It's a great length as well. It's got buttons at the cuffs. Um, and it's just a lovely, lovely coat. I mean, I've tried it so many different ways. I've tried it with some black trousers. I've tried it with white trousers. I've tried it with some jeans as well. But it's a really lovely coat, so I'm really pleased with this. 
So this is my first disappointment of the haul, but I wanted to show it to you anyway, just in case you've seen it online and wanted to see what it looked like. It doesn't suit me. I don't think it's particularly my style. It just feels like I've got my dressing gown on. There's no structure to it. There's no shoulder pads um, and it just hangs, unfortunately. Now I bought it purposely to go with this top. Um, and I'm a bit disappointed in the top as well, but this is my fault. It's just that I thought the top was woolen rather than kind of a stretchy, tight fit knit. Now you can see in this clip, I've added it to these trousers, which I bought all to go together. I actually really love the trousers. They're a little bit long for me, uh, but they can be taken up. But the downside for me is I, do, I don't like the fabric of the top and I don't like the jacket full stop. So it's a real shame because I do like the trousers. They're a really nice fit and I love the shape of those as well. So um, these two will be going back. So this little bag I purposely bought again to go with the coat and the top and the trousers. The bag's really, really cute. It's got this little popper there. Uh, it's not too big, it's not too small. You get all your kind of essentials in there. It's a really sweet little bag. It does come with a shoulder strap as well. Although I'm not keeping the jacket, I've tried this with some jeans and the camel coat. And I think the colors work really nicely together. So the bag isn't doomed, I'll probably keep this bag. So next up is this scarf. You may have seen this in one of my other videos or a couple of my other videos because I'm wearing it a lot at the moment. It's a really nice scarf. It's in the animal print, but it's not in the brown shades. Um, if you go into any stores, I was in the stores at the weekend, the brown tone of animal print, the leopard print in particular, seems to be everywhere. But I didn't see as much in this kind of shade, which is why I liked it. And it goes with anything sort of grey or black. Um, so it's a lovely scarf. It's a good price too. I think it was about $15.99. I've worn it casually with jeans or I wear it smart with a pair of black trousers and it's just a really lovely scarf. I'm really pleased with this scarf. Next is this little beige jumper. Um, it's just a basic jumper but what's really great about this jumper is the little split at the back. It's a really great length as well um, but I really love the colour. I've tried this with lots of different things. I've tried it with black trousers. Um, I've also tried it with white jeans as well but it's a classic colour that will just go with anything but it's really comfortable. It's really warm as well. It's just the perfect little knit for autumn and into the winter as well. Now you may have seen this little bag in one of my other videos. I think it's a really, really sweet, cute little bag. I just love the print. And because the print's so stunning, I really want to make it the star of the show. So I just wear it with all black, just because I want the bag to really pop. I think it's a really cute bag and it comes with a little shoulder strap as well, but I kind of like carrying it like this. Um, but the strap's there if you need it. So that's everything I've got to show you today. But what I'd like to know from you guys is do you shop in Mango? Is it one of those stores that you're not quite sure about or do you even have a Mango store in your country? So thank you for watching today. I hope the video didn't go on too long. A thumbs up would be appreciated if you liked the video. And if you're new here, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. So if there's anything you'd like me to make, then please let me know in the comments box below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.